how inflation could crash the stock market. And this is a different take here on inflation compared to what we saw um, a year ago, which was high inflation bringing the stock market lower because uh, one, fear, but two, higher inflation bringing higher interest rates, tech stocks and, and the other sectors not liking that. Um, but now the story has become, you know, can inflation to the downside bring the stock market lower? I'm sure you've heard about the Fed trying to land this soft landing for uh, inflation and, and using interest rates to get uh, just high enough with that interest rate where inflation comes down to 2%, but doesn't necessarily send our economy screaming into deflationary times. And that's what we're talking about here. It seems like the fear now is not on the upside of inflation, but potentially on the downside. And we have a core PCE reading coming up, expected to be the first reading in the three handle since 2021. As you can see, we climbed up to above 4%, topped out in the mid fives here. And this is core inflation, remember. And, and PCE is the inflation number that the Fed Chair Powell favors more than CPI, so very important. The reason we're looking at core is because energy prices and food prices have really caused a lot of volatility in the broad inflationary measures. And, and that inflation has actually come lower already, but core inflation has actually been the stickier one and the one that central bankers have had their eye on. And if we do get this expectation of 3.9%, yes, it'll mean you know good thing for uh, stocks potentially if interest rates don't have to climb as high, we are, are continuing to decrease in the inflationary fear, less fear of a run-up back into the 5% uh, percent handle for this core inflation, or you'll remember that the broad inflation got as high as, um, I believe, 7%, 8%. I think it actually might have topped out at 9% there. Um, either way, we've come off those highs, and uh, maybe a, a lower number here could help to dissolve some of that fear against a resurgence. But... If it does come lower than 3.9%, the fear might kick in that we're headed for deflation uh, that some other economies have seen. Because this is um, here now, the, the total PCE inflationary measure. And when you look at this, it's, it's less um, of a leveling off like we've seen in the core inflation um, and more of a, a, a real straight shot down to 2% and at this pace could get down below 2% and to potential deflation, which would be a negative uh, inflationary rate. And you can see, yeah, we topped out above 6% in this PCE inflation measure and uh, got all the way down to right around three, even under three, just barely there in June. Um, and, and so, you know, if you were trading in 2022, especially the late summer fall of that year, and you knew that, okay, by the end of 2023, inflation would be kind of leveling off, you would expect that stocks would have not only bounced back, but would have been holding into their highs. So why are stocks now falling, given that inflation is expected to move lower, and it's pretty much at its lows for the last couple of years here, since it spiked higher? Um, well, now the fear is that we don't hit that soft landing and we go the way of China and Japan. And now the euro area has been seeing still higher than 2% inflation, which is the target by most central banks. But their inflation has been falling a lot quicker than they anticipated. And now they're fearing that their economy isn't not necessarily just coming off of the hyper high inflation, uh, you know, too fast of an economy environment of 2022, but are they sending it into a, a too slow environment? And those fears are starting to come over into the U.S. You see NASDAQ is uh, almost 10% off of its highs, uh, S&P's similar story, and you've got Russell and Dow uh, back to pretty much unchanged on the year after the uh, bounce back that we saw 
coming off of some normalization of that inflation and just uh, feeling a little bit better here. And, and here is that euro inflation, like I, I speak to it, yes, it ripped high. It got higher than inflation did here in the US. And it still is, you know, in the four to 6% range, but it has been falling quite quickly. And the expectation is that it's going to continue to fall and, and maybe more than anticipated when the ECB was hiking interest rates. And that's why at the recent hike, they said, we might slow things down here. We might not raise interest rates again because we're worried that this uh, economy here in Europe is, is going to slow down too much. And we might get down to what we saw during the pandemic, which is deflationary prints, negative uh, inflation here if interest rates are hiked too high and we slow things down too much. And you've seen this story play out in European stocks. FEZ is a European stock index there and uh, underperforming the US over the course of the last couple of months here as that inflation has fallen faster than anticipated. And then you have in green, Chinese stocks, and they've had some deflationary prints in the last uh, year, their stock market has not been able to even hold on to positive gains this year. And so fear is starting to build that U.S. stocks might follow this global economic slowdown. And yeah, here is the Chinese inflation story and, and the wonder uh, being now, will the U.S. not only come down to 2% where the central bank, where the Fed wants it, but will it move under 2%? Will our GDP growth go from consistently positive over the last few quarters to negative? Uh, will we see some deflationary prints? And, and so, uh, of course, a really tough job for the central banks to get that soft landing. How do you know where interest rates are high enough to bring inflation lower, but not too high so as to, um, you know, cause your economy to, to halt necessarily. Um, we will see with inflationary prints like we're getting with the PCE print here in uh, September. And we have, you know, employment data coming out soon. And if they can continue to get that data to come in line with expectations, then great. If it starts to underperform those expectations consistently, uh, you might have a, a stock market uh, crash on your hands here.